Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. Best friend, we got to talk about Justin Bieber taking a step back from social media. We got to talk about that. We got to talk about this huge announcement that keeps on circulating around the social media atmosphere. But before we get into it, best friend, I want to give you guys a warm welcome. Introduce myself. My name is Sebastian. I spill pop culture tea videos every single day. And I'm your new messy best friend, bitch. Listen. Listen, if you're looking for a safe community where we have fun, where we are not afraid to be us, where we just have a good old time, girl, hit that subscribe button. It takes two seconds and it helps me out so much. And um, I hope you guys are having a really good day. All right, best friends, we got to talk about Justin Bieber, best friend, because uh, new reports are saying that he has decided to allegedly take a social media break. So the last time that he posted, I'm going to look right now, was this picture. Ooh, was this picture right here on September 3rd, okay? So not that long ago. Um, it's September 17th right now. But reports are saying that Justin Bieber has decided to take a long social media break, okay? So let's talk about this, best friend. Social media, you know, social media and Justin Bieber, girl, they... I don't know if they're the bestest of friends. They are very random. Like Justin won't post for like a month and then he'll just like literally post every single picture in his gallery. He'll do like five different posts with like 20 pictures each. You know what I mean? And I think that social media is taken very serious by some people, but I also feel like you need to have fun with it, you know? But I really do feel like maybe the main reason that he is taking a social media break is because I'm sure he wants to, he wants to be, you know, there for, you know, everything happening with Jack Blues Bieber. Like this is the moment where all the firsts are happening, you know, the first this and the first that and the first I mean, listen, it's the moment to be as present as possible, right? And a social media, in social media can definitely be toxic, especially when everything you post does get a lot of hate. I mean, Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber do get a lot of hate. Of course they get a lot of love as well. But if I'm going to be very serious with you guys, if I got that much hate that they do and I just had a new baby and I, emotions are already high, you know, I'm, I'm not sleeping, I'm, I'm, I'm barely, you know, it's very stressful, I'm sure to have a newborn baby. I don't think I would want to add the pressure of social media on top of everything else. You know, like, what is the point of that, best friend? Like, listen, just the other day, girl, you know, I was looking at their social media and I was looking at some of the comments of pictures that have nothing to do with Hailey Bieber. And it was just a picture of him and his friends. And like, I was just searching the, the comments, just trying to find something that I was looking for. And I just found so many hate comments about Hailey. And I'm like, but Hailey's not even in this damn picture. <laughs> like I, I saw comments like, uh, just say Hailey Bieber, how, uh, she had a, um, a surrogate, she never carried the baby. Like a picture of him and his friends, people are leaving those type of comments. So I'm just like, girl, you know, I just feel like there's no point in trying to please all the people out there. Like if you're, if you're that big, you need to do social media for you. And honestly, girl, I would do what Selena Gomez does. I would limit the, 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 the comments. Listen, why do I fucking care what Shirley in Connecticut says about me? I don't know the bitch. Do you know? I, is my day really going to change if Ralph from New York says I'm obese? Am I really going to be sad if Cynthia from Orlando says that I don't deserve to have children because I'm gay? Who cares? Well, actually, you know what? I do care. I'm not going to lie. Like, sometimes the comments do get to me. Uh, social media can be very sad. It can be very scary. And you know what, girl? If he is taking a social media break, I'm glad he is. I hope that he... I hope that he is very present, not only with his baby, but also with himself. I think it's very important because a lot of people have been talking about his mental health before he had the baby, saying that allegedly friends were worried about his mental health. So I hope that even though... I'm sure he's very busy. I hope that he is still taking into consideration that he also has to continue to work on his mental health. I think it's very important. I think social media is a beautiful tool. I think that, you know, I'm so grateful to do social media. I'm so grateful for the community that we have built, but they also have their very scary moments. For example, best friend, I mean, I don't think I've ever told you guys this, but I had a stalker. 
a legit one. And I don't talk a lot about it because I there's, you know, police involved and stuff, but I don't talk about it, but it is very scary. You have to be very, very, you have to be kind of strong to do social media. And, and I'm not strong whatsoever. Oh, girl, listen, for real, social media could be fucking crazy, bitch. Listen, I had this person stalk me, bitch. I'm not even kidding, girl. They were telling me where I go to the movies. They were telling me where I walk my dogs. They, listen, it was the craziest fucking thing. And I will say this, girl, and I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, bitch. Sometimes when I go out, right, you know, and I'm just like a, you know, I'm a micro, you know, person on, on social media, you know. But when I go out sometimes, like the other day, bitch, I was at the grocery store. Girl, I was looking a mess, bitch. I was looking a mess. And I remember, girl, this is so embarrassing, bitch. But I went to the deli area and I ordered, um, like, chicken fingers. And I paid for it at the deli area. And so, you know, I got a little hungry. And yes, I'm the type that sometimes eats in the supermarket. I don't do it that often anymore because ever since the pandemic, I'm very weary of my hands. But like... I was really hungry, so I grabbed a plastic fork that they use for salads. And I was literally walking around the grocery store with like a broken, like torn up Britney shirt, super old. My hair looked a mess. I was, I think my stomach was kind of out. My, I was wearing these shorts that girl, I did not know had a huge hole in the back, okay? That you saw my underwear. And I was just walking around looking a mess, eating chicken fingers, right? Bitch, tell me why. 20 minutes later, I get home and I received a DM, someone saying, Sebastian, I saw you. I saw you at the grocery store and I wanted to say hi, but it looks like you were going through something. Bitch! Bitch! I didn't know how to respond to that, bitch. I did not, I, I wanted to go up to you, but it looked like you were going through something. Girl, when I saw that, I immediately, Continue to eat my chicken fingers, but girl, I had to analyze. I had to fucking analyze, bitch. I thought you were going through something. I gotta go, bitch. I gotta go, girl. The UFOs are here to take me, bitch. This is way too much, girl. You know, it's very toxic. There's very toxic fandoms out there. You know, there's still people who really want Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber to be together. There's still people who are accusing Hailey Bieber of so many things. Even though Hailey's not my favorite or my cup of tea, I have never left a hate comment under her post or his post or anybody's post. And you have to be a certain type of person to go to somebody's social media and leave a hate comment. Like your life must be very sad if you go out of your way to do that. One thing is to throw shade. One thing is to have some fun, you know, this and that. But girl, you're really going to go there and wish them ill will or, or, or you know, you're a, you had a surrogacy. That's not your baby. Like all of these crazy things. I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. I mean, look, look at that. Look at the Titanic reference, best friend. No wonder this man is taking a social media break. They were saying there were reports that he named their baby Jack because he once took Selena Gomez to the Staples Center, rented out the Staples Center to watch her favorite movie, Titanic, which of course, Leonardo DiCaprio's character is named Jack. Would you not want to take a social media break too, bitch? Girl, listen, I don't think, listen, if I had their type of fame and I was just bringing a newborn, I would need to collect all the positive energy that I could and I would have to avoid any type of triggers because it's crazy. Girl, watch him post something today. Watch this man post something today. Say, I hate when that happens and it happens to me quite a lot. Whenever I do a video, hours later, like something pops up. I swear to you, it's so crazy. And it's happened with Selena, it's happened with Haley, and it's happened with Justin. I will say like they're they're avoiding this or they're they're taking a break or or, or whatever, and then boom, they they do something. And it's it's kind of I'm not saying it's because of me, but I'm saying it's kind of crazy. Because then I get the comments like, "Do your research." They just posted. I'm like, "Bitch, should the past Sebastian come into the uh, future Sebastian?" You know what I mean, girl? Like, calm down. Anyways, girl. Um, I love you all so much. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Well, I do think social media breaks are are very important. And one thing I do suggest is please don't look like as soon as you wake up, even though, you know, we have fun on this channel and I'm very, I'm very weary of what I put out there. I'm very, um, I take, you know, my, my, my platform series. For example, I always uh, make sure that only 18 or over watch my channel because sometimes it can get a little messy. 
But best friend, you know, I think it's important to, you know, to, to protect your mental health. And there are other, you know, things out there on social media that could definitely trigger something in you. So you might, you, you want to be careful what you watch. Don't watch something as soon as you wake up. Take that time for yourself. Take that time to visualize what you want in your life. Visualize all the good in your life and what you want to attract or leave behind. And, you know, then you can watch my channel. But before, take that time for you. Okay, girl? Anyways, I love you all so much. Let me know. I love you guys so much. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.